for my people that need one more example, how do I build this formula? First, you need to get your constants. So, I want to know what number comes before the 20. In order to do that, I'm going to need to find my differences, my distances. That's plus 21. This is plus 17. This is plus 13. Plus 9. Okay, second difference is is minus 4. That's my second difference sequence. So, before I added 21, I added 25. Right? That, that continues the red pattern one step backwards. Sum a number plus 25 gave me 20. That number is negative 5. Negative 5 is the, is the zeroth term, the number that comes before the first term. That is my constant. So, got negative 5. Pieces every time. I put my rectangles above here. My first rectangle should be 1 by something. My second rectangle should be 2 by something. My third rectangle should be 3 by something. And I want the general rectangle n by something. Okay, what do I need my lengths to be so that my first number is 20? I'm going to need my length to be 25. 1 by 25. Minus 5 gives me that 20. 2 by, all right, 46 minus 5 is going to be 41. So 2 by 23 will give me 46 minus 5 is 41. All right, 58, I'm going to need 63 minus 5 to be 58. So 3 by... 30, uh, my bad, 3 by 21 gives me 63. That's my pattern. We're going down by 2s. If I write my negative 2 cycle, that's negative 2, negative 4, negative 6. I need to add 27 for this to actually build my pattern, right? 27 minus 2 is 25, 27 minus 4 is 23, so on, right? This, well, that's my building blocks for my general equation, all right? The total in this sequence is n by negative 2n plus 27 minus 5. I'm not sure that I'm correct, I can check with the terms I already have. Zero to term. Zero times this, minus 5 is negative 5. Cool. The first term, negative 2 times 1, that's negative 2 plus 27 is positive 25 times 1 is 25 minus 5 is 20. Cool. Second term, negative 4 plus 27 is 20. 3. 23 times 2 is 46. 46 minus 5 is 41. So I know that the formula works, and then I can use the formula to find any number in the sequence. So if I want to find the tenth term, I will do 10 times negative 20 plus 27, 10 times 7, 70 minus 5 is 65. 10th term is 65. Last one on the page. Once again, plus 12 plus 
18 plus 24 plus 30. Second difference is plus 6. What did I add before I added 12? I added 6. Ironically, what number came before the 23 then? That should be a 17. I've got 17 extras. Rectangle, one by something, two by something, three by something, n by something. I want my first number to be 23, so 17 plus 6 makes 23. I want my second number to be 35. 17 plus 18 will be 35, so I need this to be a 9. I want my third number to be 53, 17 plus 36 will be 53, so I need that to be a 12, 3 times 12 is 36, okay? These are counting up by threes, that means the top of my rectangle is 3n with an adjustment, right? If I write out 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, we've got to shift up 3, 3 times n plus 3. Those are my formula blocks. Total number of squares in this set is going to be n times 3n plus 3 plus set the 17 extras. Double check that it works. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 3 is 6 times 1 is 6. 6 plus 17 is 23. We're cool with that. If I put 2, 9 times 2 is 18 plus 17 is 35. Still cool. If I put 3, 9, 12, 36, 46, 53. Okay? That's my formula, and I can use my formula to find whatever it is that I want. If you need to see a slow down version, if you need to see a slow down version of this, uh, build back up to uh, what's going on with all the little blocks, the three lessons we did before we got to this lesson, you won't have to stop in after school. Or you can just wait until I cut all the, uh, cut all the drawings out all together and show you an alternative strategy for getting these 